From the Kitchener Courthouse, a verdict in the Derek Lawler murder case, guilty of first-degree murder. He was charged in the strangling of Mark McCready in April 2014, and we are now able to report what the jury didn't hear. 31 years ago, Lawler was convicted and sent to prison for a similar crime. That's right, Nancy. The jury deliberated for four hours. We're told they worked right through the lunch hour and came up with a unanimous decision of first-degree murder, not knowing Lawler had had killed before. 56 year old Derek Lawler was sentenced to four years in prison in the 1980s. Court documents show he was found guilty of suffocating a man to death in Newfoundland while the pair stayed at a cabin near the town of Victoria. Years later, Lawler was pardoned. But now a jury must decide if Lawler intentionally murdered 50 year old Mark McCready in Kitchener's Victoria Park in 2014. The defense argues McCready likely died from erotic asphyxiation. Also also suggesting McCready could have been robbed and murdered after leaving Lawler. The Crown argues Lawler used his scarf as a weapon. The jury has heard from doctors at Grand River Hospital and Lawler's friends that Lawler had urges to harm promiscuous gay men, a feeling he even told police about days after the crime. I call it prison for, for perpetrators. And I started targeting perpetrators who were sexual sexually Key evidence in this trial came from the Crown star witness John Davey. Davey told the jury he had a prior casual sexual relationship with McCready for about four years while he had seen Lawler only once before the night in question. Davey says on that night in question Lawler showed up at the park asking to join them for a threesome. Davy testified during the sexual encounter, Lawler tried to wrap a scarf around Davy's neck and tighten it. Davy told the court he was surprised and removed it and that Lawler told him it was homoerotica asphyxiation. Outside the courtroom, Davy told CTV it was the sort of thing he and McCready never did. He was just a, a genuine person and I never ever felt threatened around him. Davey there also told CTV any... he felt hesitant about leaving McCready alone with Lawler. He thought McCready may have already known Lawler based on how Lawler told Davey to leave. He said it's okay to leave us alone, leave me alone with him. And it was, it was a disturbing statement. Now, a conviction of first-degree murder comes with uh, life in prison, which is 25 years. Right after the decision was read out loud, Lawler's sisters gasped in tears. McCready's daughter, however, was not able to be here today. She will be here this Thursday to give a victim impact statement for the sentence hearing, where the judge will decide how many years it will take before Lawler is eligible for parole. Nancy. Nicole Lampa live with that breaking news. CTV's Nicole Courthouse. Lampa is at the Kitchener Courthouse tonight where McCready's family had a chance to speak publicly today, Nicole. That's right, Nancy. McCready's daughter, Tammy, had her victim impact statement read aloud. In it, she described being scared Lawler would want revenge on her family. Years ago at Victoria Park, Mark McCready was found dead. This week, a jury quickly decided Derek Lawler is guilty of first-degree murder. We were confident they were going to make the right decision. Um, we were a little surprised at four hours, but uh, we always knew it was going to be the right one. McCready's death has had a devastating impact on his family. In a statement, his daughter says she used to love the outdoors, but now when I see trees, I get triggered to the murder site. I feel like there's someone in the bushes waiting to attack. During the six-week trial, the jury heard Lawler told doctors and friends about wanting to harm sexually active gay men, even though he was gay himself. The Crown argued Lawler didn't know McCready and used a scarf to intentionally strangle him to death during sex. It's incredibly sad, the circumstances of this death. John Davey was part of the sexual encounter. Court heard it was a threesome, but Davey left the two behind when McCready was still alive. Davey was the Crown's star witness who came to show his support today for McCready's family. We're born to live life, we're not born to kill. And it doesn't matter how you feel towards somebody, everybody has a right to live. Lawler was asked if he wanted to say anything before he was taken away in handcuffs. He replied quietly, not at this time. As he walked out of the prisoner's box and into custody, his sisters broke into tears. 
Before Lawler left, the judge told him this was a brutal murder. This one is particularly senseless. McCready's daughter described her dad as a caring, charming family man. The most emotional statement came from his 10-year-old granddaughter, which read, My grandpa Mark was murdered and is in heaven. He was the best grandpa. Sometimes he leaves me stuffies from heaven. Now, the, the judge has noted that this is the second life that Lawler has taken. The jury never heard this, but Lawler was convicted in the 80s for manslaughter for strangling another man to death. That conviction was later pardoned. As for Lawler right now, he has 30 days to appeal his first-degree murder conviction. Nancy. Nicole Lamp alive at the courthouse tonight.